Hey everybody, Mark from the Geek Church here, and today we're going to do an HP times 3. Hope you like that. Part 1. Yes, today we're reviewing this particular product as our part 1. This is a keyboard. And you know what? Let's just put the name there. There it is. That's what it's called. We're going to be opening it up, trying it out, right after this. Now, I don't really think I need to say much about HP. I think they're pretty much a household name. Most of you guys have computers with their logo emblazed upon it, and why shouldn't you? They make pretty good products. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just sort of open this up, and really try it out. Uh, if this is true, then this is an ergonomic keyboard that has a uh, separate numeric keyboard thing with it. And I just want to try that out. And I'm told it's wireless. So, hey. Okay, now that we got the box open, let's just dump her out, I guess. I like a better term. Um, yeah. All right. So, let's see, it comes in this box here. And now, we're gonna just sort of open this up. Good packaging we've got here. So, let's see, uh, this is almost like a cloth bag. I was actually expecting this to just be plastic or styrofoam. And here it is. All right, ergonomics, which means the keyboards get all wavy on us, which I kind of like and I can use. Not really big on that, but hey, some people that's their thing. Some people it's not their thing. Okay, I'm already feeling this now, this kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, wrist rest, I guess it's called, but it feels like something you'd find in your car, like on a padded dashboard, uh, for lack of a better term. So, this isn't the only thing in here, because we have this, and here is, aha, the keyboard, just as we want it, so yeah. Okay, and also in here, your instructions, and I didn't suspect this, but they packed it here. But batteries, yeah, they actually have them. So batteries are included, something I was surprised at. I'm seeing two double A's in there, and uh, that's about all. I'm trying hard to think about what this would need here, or if you could use it. Um, I was kind of hoping it'd be like a charge cord kind of thing, but I'm guessing it's battery. But let's take a closer look. Okay, so let's see. So on the back of this, it looks like something to pry off, maybe? Ah, is this where the batteries are put here? I can't tell. Um, it feels like this should just come right off. Uh, ah, maybe I'm doing this wrong. Let's try this here, okay? This definitely has a thing here, uh-huh. And let's see. Ah, there we go. Aha, there's the place for the batteries and a place for the wireless dongle, which I believe I'm just gonna put in here and then it should work. So, you know what? I'm going to do something else here. Okay, so the only thing that remains is for me to put in the batteries and just get it started. However, I'm still more curious about this dang thing. Why can't I uh, just pry this open here? And how does this work? I'm gonna have to check the instructions. Not completely instinctive, but that's fine. I don't expect every product to just come out and then, I mean, there's a reason why they have instructions, right? Yeah, we're gonna follow them here. And, uh, yeah, so. Hmm. Okay, according to the instructions, this thing should just kind of come off, kind of like a calculator or something like that, where you put the batteries in. I cannot get this thing to come off. What am I doing wrong here? Um, uh, man, so I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Uh, okay, so it actually came with this, uh, this keyboard thing. It had a screw here, and uh, boy, did I really kind of scratch it up trying to use a knife to try to pry this open because I really thought that was one of those type of things. There's a flathead screw here that you need to just undo. And then there's this piece of tape here, and if you're probably familiar with these uh, products like these, they always have that piece of tape. So um, basically you can 
they black the batteries so you can essentially uh, put the batteries in and then uh, not sort of get those uh, using the batteries while it's in the box. Did not expect that, was not expecting that. Oh my gosh, but did that become a source of irritation uh, very fast? Um, yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna put this in here and check it out. Okay, so I noticed on this keyboard, and yeah, I am gonna do the numeric keypad first, uh, just for uh, just for the heck of it. Okay, there's a button on here, and so let's switch. And okay, it looks like there's a light here. Uh, so, all right, I'm gonna see how we can. Oh, actually, oh. That's something that's made for the uh, thing. Okay, we're gonna set up the keyboard in a bit here. But first, I got a funny story to tell. Okay, I have to admit that I uh, wanted to use it to get a keyboard. I've been using kind of another one uh, because for some reason my laptop keyboard, the K key, is kind of clunky. You know, the comma key. Um, for some reason, if I just push it casually, it won't work sometimes, and. When your name is spelled and ends with a K, and your website has a K in it, that can be really uh, annoying. So I actually took my laptop on a trip, and then discovered that I had this problem, or I thought that it was fixed, but then I kept the K problem, just kept jamming. I don't know, maybe there's like some sort of Chrome jammed in there. Either way, I got this keyboard. We're gonna test this out. But first, we better put in the batteries. Uh, I think I've already kind of showed this off here. I don't really know if I need to uh, highlight it again, but I'm just gonna do that. Uh, I don't really think you need to see me just put batteries in, do you? Okay, all right, I've got the batteries in, and I just decided to, because they have these things, uh, these flip-up things, don't know what they're called. Uh, okay, well, they looks like they actually lean that direction. Um, not too familiar with these ergonomic keyboards. But, um, all right, I'm gonna try and put this here so we can just see the keyboard that I'm looking at the screen. Okay, I got this dongle in here, but I'm kind of run out of uh, ports, so I'm gonna have to insert something that'll help me use it. So let's see if this works. All right, okay. All right, let's just see if we're hooked up. We'll know uh, right about, uh, let's see. I think so. Is there like a switch on here that we don't know about? I think there is. There we go. Okay. So, okay. Do we got it? Yes, we do. We have it. Now, how about this thing? Is this thing set up? It is. Everything's all set up. That took like, what, minutes? Seconds? I wasn't even counting. Okay, so let's talk about the features of the 960 ergonomic wireless keyboard. Name drop. Okay, apparently the ergonomics are in natural uh, position to help uh, with uh, wrist, uh, lateral wrist deviation by 60%. It'll cut that. That's just uh, what I'm reading off the website. So we like that. All right, okay, um, it looks like you can do Bluetooth uh, connection with this. Haven't tried that, but perhaps we will. Okay, because I like taking things to the next mile, I'm going to try uh, connecting via Bluetooth and see what happens. Um, okay, I think I do it like this, maybe? There's like a button for Bluetooth, and there's a button on here for Bluetooth. So let's see what happens here. Have you got something? Aha! Got it right there. And... Oh, here we go. I have to enter this pin on here. Six. I think it worked. It did. Okay, now we're gonna connect the uh, number pad. Okay. All right. Okay, so uh, I gotta insert a certain number in there just to get that to work. Now it says I'm connected, but am I connected? Oh yeah, and just to prove it, take out that, yes, 
All right, I just took out uh, the dongle, uh, the one that's necessary to connect the keyboard, supposedly. Yeah, it, it is, so. All right, oh yeah, and we should probably check to make sure that the number pad works. And it does. We're not surprised by this at all. Okay, we're gonna discuss this keyboard and number pad on our website because that's what we do. We do a basic unboxing just to get us a good feel for it. And then afterwards, we really wanna go into the detail and uh, highlight all the features of this thing. Cause it's pretty good. Okay, let's get to the price. It's $119.99 on the HB site, and this will make a good gift because, well, we're about ready to get into the holiday season here where we really start ramping up our reviews. Uh, yeah. Well, that's one HP product down, two more to go. This has been Mark Rollins from the Geek Church, I'm signing off.